The Republic of Cyprus, Cyprus and Turkey have been engaged in a dispute over the extent of their exclusive economic zones, ostensibly sparked by oil and gas exploration in the area. Turkey and the northern Cyprus object to Cypriot drilling in waters that Cyprus has asserted a claim to under international maritime law. The present maritime zones dispute touches on the perennial Cyprus and Aegean disputes. Turkey is the only member state of the United Nations that does not recognize Cyprus, and is not a signatory to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, which Cyprus has signed and ratified. Topic: <inaudible> Cypriot perspective. The Republic of Cyprus adopted the Territorial Sea Law in 1964. The law established 12 nautical mile 22 km, 14 miles territorial sea. Coordinates of the Territorial Sea were submitted to the United Nations in 1993 and their validity was reconfirmed in 1996. The Continental Shelf of Cyprus is defined according to the Continental Shelf Law which was adopted in 1974. After ratification of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea in 1988, Cyprus adopted a new law in 2004, which limited its exclusive economic zone EEZ by 12 nautical miles, 22 km, 14 miles The EEZ was delimited by bilateral agreements with Israel, Lebanon and Egypt. The area of highest interest to Cyprus is Block 12, approximately 800,000 acres 3, square kilometers in size, and on the border with Israel's own EEZ. Cyprus has actively sought to reinforce its position on the global stage through Congress with major international players in the situation. Cypriot Foreign Minister Arado Kozako Markoulis began her term in office in late 2011 by visiting both Greece and Israel to request support for the drilling program, though it is not clear if military support was also requested. It is also widely believed that Cyprus has requested support from the United States of America and the Russian Federation, though the exact specifics of any representations have not been made public. As of August 2011, the Cypriot media has shown widespread alarm at Turkish threats to intervene against the drilling program, and has remonstrated with the Turkish position as evidence of a violation of national sovereignty and the rights of the Cypriot people. In late February 2014, Cypriot President Nikos Anastasiades threatened to pull out of the new round of negotiations over the Cyprus dispute if Turkish vessels continue to intrude in Cyprus' exclusive economic zone. Turkish perspective Turkey is not a party to UNCLOS, mainly due to the Aegean dispute with Greece and due to provisions of the Article 121 of UNCLOS which states that maritime zones of islands except uninhabited rocks are determined by the same principles as for the other territories. It has limited its territorial waters by 6 nautical miles, 11 kilometers, 6.9 miles, and by 12 nautical miles, 22 kilometers, 14 miles in the Mediterranean Sea, established by the Council of Ministers of Turkey. There is no national legislation on EEZ or continental shelf. No EEZ proclamation exists for the Mediterranean Sea, however, it has signed an agreement in 2011 with the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus to delimit continental shelf. Turkey does not recognize Cyprus EEZ agreements with Egypt, Lebanon, and Israel due to the position that as a de facto divided island Republic of Cyprus cannot represent the interests of Northern Cyprus in the case the island will be reunified with a single EEZ. Turkey has disputed the EEZ agreement between Cyprus and Egypt based on its claims to the part of the continental shelf in that area. These claims are based on the viewpoint that the capacity of islands to generate maritime zones should be limited in competition with the continental coastal states. As a result, Turkey's claims are partly overlapping with Cyprus EEZ blocks 1, 4, 6, and 7. Turkey also supports northern Cyprus claims in blocks 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 12, and 13, including seabed within a few kilometers of the Aphrodite gas field. In addition to the blocks contested between northern Cyprus and Turkey, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus has issued exploration licenses also in above-mentioned disputed blocks. Turkish oil company TPAO has also begun conducting oil and gas exploratory drilling off the shores of northern Cyprus. The European Union (EU) Communautaire requires UNCLOS membership. 
The European Parliament called on Turkey to sign UNCLOS in adopting the Commission's annual report on paving the ground for EU Turkey accession negotiations in 2012, 2013, and 2014. Turkey has repeatedly threatened to not allow the Republic of Cyprus to proceed with pursuing claims to hydrocarbon deposits in waters south of the island. It has warned international oil companies not to conduct exploration and production activities in disputed zones, under the threat of an exclusion from the business operations in Turkey. It is not clear whether the incident could escalate to violence, as the Turkish government has not made clear whether it regards oil and gas exploration by the Republic of Cyprus as an act of aggression. However, in November 2008, Turkish naval vessels harassed Cyprus contracted vessels conducting seismic exploration for hydrocarbon deposits in waters south of the island. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Potential for escalation to armed conflict. Turkey has organized a major air and naval exercise to take place at the same time as drilling by the Cypriot contractors is due to begin in September 2011. A possible sign of concern has been raised by reports that the Russian Navy had been ordered in late August 2011 to scramble two nuclear attack submarines to the eastern Mediterranean to observe the situation, as Cyprus and Russia have enjoyed close political and economic ties in recent years. In 2011, Israel was also reported to have increased the number of surveillance flights operations in the eastern Mediterranean, though it is not clear if these operations include the Nicosia Flight Information Region. See also 2018 Cyprus gas dispute